Hi Virgo, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. As always, Virgo, these readings are timeless, so whenever you get here is whenever you get here. And all 12 zodiac sign readings, they're all for you. They're all part of the collective story. If this reading is a blessing to you, I do ask that you like and share and subscribe. It is very helpful for me to know which content is really like resonating with you guys. Um, Virgo, you have a pretty heavy energy today. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I keep pulling in words like, uh, perseverance and strength in solitude as opposed to like strength in numbers and this energy of like a unified front a unified front so i don't know if you and like a group of people or someone else are trying to portray like a unified front but it feels like it's really in terms of like your different selves like your past self your current self and your future self like all of yourselves throughout your timeline throughout your life kind of being on even maybe even past lives like being on the same page like looking in the same direction it's sort of this energy of like your past self sitting being like I'm experiencing what I'm experiencing so that way I can get here which is where you are right now and then you sitting here and going okay I'm going through what I'm going through now so that way I can get to the next step and then your future self sitting there and being like okay yeah we did it so we could get here and now i'm going to experience these things so i can get there it's like all of yourselves almost like a russian doll kind of getting on the same page and like looking in the same direction it's like this energy of like perseverance so that way you don't look at your past self and feel it as like a portrayal to your current self and then your future self looking at your current self and feeling as though the things that you're doing now are working in unison to the path and progress that you're trying to get towards. It's a little bit of a funny energy, but it's what's coming through for you. So I'm going to use the Tarot of the Old Path. And oh, look, <laughs> it's, a, it's a chariot at the bottom of the deck. So, so be it. Um, so let's pray and then we'll start pulling cards for you, Virgo. Father God, I just want to take a moment and honor you. Thank you for bringing me and Virgos in today for this reading. I pray that you give me wisdom, clarity, and discernment to deliver these messages accurately for Virgos highest of love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you, we love you, we thank and honor you always to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Virgo. So, let's see. It's very, it's, uh, it's a, it's a little trippy, honestly. It's a little bit of a trippy energy. Ooh, okay, okay. First house, house of self. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune. Um, there's a sense that like, there's something in the air. There's something in the air. Part of this perseverance also feels a lot like focus to you, like focusing on the highest possible outcome um, while the world um, seems like it's spinning into chaos. I feel for girl, like you have this sense that things are actually coming together for you. While they may be falling apart, to the people, places, things, structures, society around you, things feel like personally for you, like they're coming together. Like you can almost sense it. I'm hearing that Sam Cooke song, like a change will do you good, a change is gonna come. It's that kind of thing. So it might actually feel, the senses that you're getting about yourself personally might be in um, conflict to what you're seeing around you, which could make you a little double-minded or like second guess it well it's like well how is everything starting to get really good for me when everything seems like it's like falling apart around me that's just grace and blessings and and being covered right under like the divine spirit but this is the sense that like you really do feel like things are coming together it's like you can it's almost like it hasn't quite landed it's almost like a couple like drops like a couple raindrops when they come down before like the full the full rain the full storm kind of starts it's it's that sort of energy second house of value four cauldrons four cups in reverse so this is you coming out of like emotional dissatisfaction it's that really like blase sort of feeling as well it's taurian energy and taurian has a lot to do with like our material world our material world as well again it's like everything around you feels like you should feel like really stressed and really bummed out and like hiding money in your mattress and like storing up on canned goods and like all of that kind of stuff right like everything around you is making you feel like you should really be like 
losing losing your shit like freaking out but meanwhile in your house of value it's like even in your material world like things are getting better you might actually be doing pretty well at work or like your relationships might be doing like well it's like it's like it almost doesn't make sense it's this energy of like this doesn't make sense like what why is like I'm, it feels like being blessed in like a during like a hellfire that's a little bit what it feels like you're like does this make sense it's almost a feeling of like good things are are starting to happen for you and it's almost like did i do something wrong like did i do something weird it's almost like did i like sell my soul that like things are going well for me and it's almost and it's also for some of my virgos there there is an energy of like not wanting to maybe that's the strength and solitude sort of thing because the hermit your card did come out in your pre-shuffle as well as like almost not wanting to share like your good news or like your triumphs or, or any wheel of fortune energy that you, you may be experiencing or sensing because it might be um, received with like condemnation from other people to be like the world's on fire like but I'm doing super great like I just made a bunch of money like my relationships are going well and people are like what the fuck there's almost that of like wanting not wanting to share your good news because it almost seems um like improper or like inappropriate like considering like the state of affairs if that makes sense <laughs> third house gemini house of communication five of swords <laughs> what was i talking about inappropriate and condemnation this is a card about fighting this is a card about conflict fives also represent change and competition right it's almost like this guy in the back of the card he's blowing this horn like getting ready for battle but meanwhile you're like running off the field you're like oh no my battles are done i'm i'm leaving i'm leaving i'm going home guys i'm cutting out early and they're like what there's like all this conflict there's like all this fighting to do over here like what are you doing it's honestly it's also a self-preservation energy for some of my virgos that for some of you there might be people around you that really want you to get involved in a variety of different ways um and you might be receiving guidance to just like step out do your own thing just focus on yourself not get involved in other people's conflicts worldly conflicts like not participate right and there could for some of you there there is that energy of people looking at you it's like well don't you have an opinion don't you have a say don't you want to do something about what's going on right now and you're like i mean kind of but what i'm receiving in guidance is really just to like go home and just like mind my own business and just like focus on myself like and that for other people again it's almost like aren't you going to join us and you're like uh my mom needs me home for dinner. <laughs> I have to go. I gotta go feed my dog. I gotta go let my dog out. I gotta go. I gotta go right now. Fourth house of home. Temptation. It's that devil energy. It's that low vibrational. Again, it's like in your immediate environment, right? Perhaps with, and it could be, you know, again, for some of my Virgos, it's like people wanting to debate with you or all they want to do is talk about things that aren't resonating with you or some of the conversations they want to have are immediately causing you low vibrational energies conflict stress anxiety right and that's putting you in conflict because what you're sensing for yourself personally is that things are actually picking up for you things are actually getting better for you and so it's almost like i don't want to focus on that like i can't focus on that there's also a feeling of being like overstimulated as well as like there's so much going on that it's it's important for you to have like this self-preservation. I have to maintain my balance. I have to maintain my alignment. I can't get involved in all of this stuff. Like I just need to keep looking forward. Like I have to think about five years from now. Like I can't do, it's like that. I can't do this right now. Like I can't have toxicity. I can't have low vibrational energies. I can't have this kind of stress, anxiety, like in my home environment. It's a house of cancer as well. It's like, so going into your, your little crab shell, going into your hermit mode. Yeah, fifth house, house of pleasure two of swords it's that battle it's that con that conflict right because normally it's like you being blinded and you being defensive but this is you having to like defend yourself or like maintaining like your peace right this doesn't even necessarily have to do with anything political this could just have to do with like work hierarchy or or you know issues going on in your family or going on in your friend circle or stuff like that but this is you literally having to defend like your happiness defend your peace defend your joy because all that yellow as well that talks about your solar plex chakra so that's also your energy your creativity like your your life force your vitality 
that's kind of what it feels like too it's like all this other stuff it's like it's draining my energy and it's like I need my energy because like to tomorrow's gonna come like that to five years from now like I need I need to stay focused because like today is not the only day that is like I also have to think about tomorrow and the next day and the next day and if I spend all of this time all of this energy right now on battles that aren't mine or battles that I'm not really gonna aid to or it's like that kind of thing you're like I'm gonna pull energy away from things I can be focusing on that are gonna create wealth abundance positivity prosperity love joy for me like moving forward again it's like your past self your current self your future self like all getting on the same page and like looking forward it's like a really kind of trippy energy but again it's like even like i feel like really like quiet right it's like i like want to be quiet and it's like i don't want to i don't want to disturb anyone and it's like and there's you know it's like that kind of thing it's like really wanting to like lie low it's really wanting to lie low and then in your sixth house is virgo Virgo is very detail oriented. It really has to do with like the day to day. It's also the house of health. And you have the sun, right? This is warmth. This is positivity. This is happiness. It's the happiest card in the deck. It also speaks of um, like life force energy and regeneration and growth and all of that stuff, right? It's like part of, you know, and health is not just physical health. It's also mental health. It's emotional health. It's spiritual health. Like this is you realizing like day to day, like I have to try and maintain like the most positive outlook that I can. It doesn't mean like, being like a bundle of sunshine every single moment like we all have those low moments but it's also about you like realizing that stress anxiety conflict taking on other people's battles that maybe you don't want to or folk it's like doing that you're like it's just going to negatively affect my health like I need to stay happy I need to stay positive that's going to have an overall better effect on my health and again day it's like this day to day right and it's like coming out right underneath this five of swords right next to this two of swords it's like almost the idea of like you don't get to be happy right now like you don't get to enjoy yourself right now like you don't get to have shits and giggles Virgo like there's a lot of shit going on like pick up your sword and you're like I already fought my battles like I'm I'm out Virgo out ace of pentacles and reverse the bottom of my deck you're like I'm not investing in this I'm not investing my time my energy in this I can't beautiful seventh house Libra relationships six of wands Six of Rods, this is success. This is recognition. This is victory. This is something that, you know, for some of you, you might be catching some flack right now. I hope you're not. But for some of you, you might be catching some flack. Like, again, what I said earlier, it's like not wanting to express like that you're doing really well or like good things might be happening for you or like you caught a word from God that like, you know, you're moving into your promised land, like whatever it may be. But I think throughout time, you are going to be recognized as as doing the right thing like oh after the fact I realized that I was stressing I was fighting I was worrying and it only made my situation worse it didn't actually improve my day-to-day -day life Virgo actually had it right to begin with six also talks about an equal energy exchange Virgo put their energy into good fortune Virgo put their energy into happiness into joy into being forward thinking look what they received now they're successful. Now they're riding into victory. There's an energy that for some of you people might think that you're not tuned in or like you're non-committal or you're like not with it. It's like you're not woke. But after the fact, it actually seems as though people realize that you you actually are very much with it. You actually are very much tuned in. You're like super woke. You're like as woke as I get. You're woke enough to know that what I feed energy into will feed it back to me. So I'm going to feed it into my future. I'm going to feed it into happiness. I'm going to feed it into the highest possible outcome for myself. King of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Some people might think that you're just like, you just don't care. Like you just don't care right because the king of cups in reverse he's like emotionally like shut down like he's not emotionally receptive he's not emotionally available right this is like people kind of interpreting you as like not caring and it's i don't believe that it's not my virgos don't care i'm not pulling in that vibe at all it really is that energy of like i know things are gonna like shake themselves out i know things are gonna shake themselves out there's only so much that i as an individual can do and i know that by 
maintaining my alignment, maintaining my balance, staying as positive as I can, working on building up my future where not only I can be blessed, but then I can be a blessing onto others and share goodness and joy and love out into the world. That's going to have a greater impact, especially in terms of like the, the positive cause and effect than me running around with my sword in the air trying to prove with some like righteous indignation that like I'm right about something that that's kind of what I'm like pulling in you know and with this devil card in between the six of rods and the wheel of fortune this tells me that you are successfully overcoming it I think that's part of the reason why you're being a little quiet right now as well it's almost easier if you just kind of like go off the map and like get a little quiet and just like fall off the grid for a little bit it's easier than having to have those battles having to have those battles with people it's like I can't fight with you if I'm not even on the field my my gerbil has a dentist appointment I have to go let my dog out I have to go I have to go talk to my plant I'll see you guys later eighth house death and rebirth Scorpio energy seven of pentacles this is about your investment this is about the seeds that you're planting right look at him he's sweating he's working hard he's kind of he's kind of you know Strength and solitude. He's kind of doing a lot of this heavy lifting by himself. I know it's bright. It's hard to see. Seven of Pentacles is all about investment. This is you. You could have like had a moment, Virgo. For some of my Virgos, you had a moment where it's like you tried to do this. You tried to do these reindeer games and it just like knocked you on your ass. It like you, you pulled in too much energy. It overstimulated you. You got upset. You got like... And then you were like, you know what? My bad. I'm going to retract. I'm going to go back to doing what I'm doing. I'm going to go back to minding my business and eating my food. I'm going to go back and keep keep going in for these pentacles. I'm going to keep planting. I'm going to keep weeding. I'm going to keep watering. I'm going to do that. Right? Because again, it's underneath this two of swords. This is also you sort of defending your right to focus on yourself, to focus on your projects. The seeds that you've already planted and not neglect them, forego them to go start planting seeds in other people's gardens for their agendas ninth house house of spirituality six of cups in reverse sagittarius energy there's also a sense for some of my virgos that as you're intuitively perceiving you are moving into a higher timeline that some people that you know um are going through another round of like karmic cycles they're on a different timeline than you which is not better worse it's kind of indifferent but that again the house of spirituality that some people are they're not your i want to say like soul mates but it literally feels like soul like spiritual like soul tribe right that some of these they might have been soul mates but they're not soul tribe there's a difference in that there's a difference in that i don't know if that makes sense to you guys that some of these people yes they're your friends Yes, maybe you love them. Yes, maybe they're parts of your family. Yes, you care, right? They're, they're soulmate energy. It comes, soulmates are like ice cream. They come in a thousand different flavors, right? But they're not soul tribe, that you're actually moving into new soul tribe. Part of the seven of pentacles energy as well, next to the six of wands, is you successfully creating enough energetic, physical, or emotional distance between you and other people. Again, not out of low vibrational energy, but because you sense that you need room for new connections to come in, new soul contracts, new soul tribe, new partners, new business associates, all of it. It's like building from the ground up. Page of Cups. Yeah, it's like getting ready to go and offer like love and energy and time and affection. House of Ambition, 10th house, Capricorn energy. We're in Capricorn season. That's that dense 3D practical energy. The tower in reverse. You know it, Virgo. Because again, underneath the Wheel of Fortune, the Temptation card, the Six of Rods, you know. I just mind my business and I just take a step out and I'm just as quiet as possible, right? Focus on being successful, focus on the highest possible outcome for myself. I'm going to avoid tower moments in it's like house of ambition so this is in your goals in your pursuits on your path in your mission in your career what you're trying to accomplish capricorn that's that's heavy pentacles energy that's like 10 of pentacles energy and 10 of pentacles was coming up in your pre-shuffle a lot which also talks about like 
your destiny and your namesake, your legacy, what you leave behind for the next generation, right? This is you avoiding upsets. It's like hiccups. You're like, I can avoid challenges and obstacles in the future by focusing on me now. Because again, it's like your future self looking to you now saying, Virgo, stay focused. I know it's easy to get distracted right now, but like stay focused. Cause like we're, it's almost like we're on a schedule here. It's like we're on a timeline, like stay focused, stay focused. Cause if you don't, you're going to end up having obstacles, opposition, all this stuff that could be avoided. Ace of Pentacles in reverse, house of friendships. This is you de-investing, not out of malice, not out of low vibrational energy, not because there isn't a feeling of love there, right? But it's it's this energy of being having to be more loyal to yourself and to your future than to other people's plans for you and your future. That's part of the heaviness of it. Again, it's like this Capricorn, like very disciplined energy. Saturn is very, very disciplined, but it's also an Aquarius right now, which is a very humanitarian sort of card, which adds to this level of, of heaviness, of weightedness for you. Because again, there's like no bad blood that you're, that I feel my Virgos having towards anyone. It's just uh, uh, part of this seven of pentacles, this commitment, this investment is to yourself, to your own success and development and happiness and peace moving forward. So that is requiring you to be disciplined enough to de-invest from certain relationships, certain people, certain behaviors, mindsets, environments, all of it. You could, it, again, instinctually, you know you're leveling up. You know you're moving into a new timeline. You know you need to create that space, not just for other people um, and situations and opportunities to come in, but also space for you to, it's like to breathe, to just breathe. It feels like for a lot of my Virgos, you've been in situations where people were telling you what to do or telling you how to feel or telling you the right way to be. And it, it, it's just like you need room to breathe, to just expand organically. Twelve house, Pisces, house of spirituality. Or no, it's not. It's the house of secrets. It's interesting that I said that. House of um, secrets. It's also the house of self-imprisonment. Queen of swords. Secret is, again, it's like people think that like you, you don't really know what you're doing or maybe you're being a little cold. Or, and the Queen of Swords, she can come off a little cold, but this is actually like a very logical, again, disciplined Saturn energy. It's a very disciplined decision. You have your sword of truth. It's not that you don't have a sword, right? You, everybody gets a sword. It's part of the armor of God. You have a sword, but you're not using it to fight with other people. You're using it to chisel out your future. You're using it to chisel out your own personal truth. And you're also using it to chisel out your own path. And for some of it, you're using it to cut out certain relationships. But this sword is also, it's its very sharp, right? Which also means that it's, it's a clean break. There's an energy of it. It's a clean cut. It's not jagged. It's not dull. So it's like there's uh, the least amount of collateral damage. Some of you guys are just energetically moving away from certain people. So as to avoid conflict and then messy separations, right? It's that idea of like when you go away to summer camp and you don't talk to your friends for a few months and then you change schools come September and it's not that big of a deal that like you don't see or talk to these people anymore because you've already kind of created that distance. It's a little bit like that. It's a little bit like that. But you also have the three of wands at the bottom of the deck too which talks about preparations to get on your mission, which is what this whole thing is about. And this is also you, especially in this deck, receiving help, receiving guidance, a helping hand from above, from your angels, from your guides. It's that idea of like, yes, many, many will come against you. Like people, people might talk, people, you know, everyone's got an opinion, right? Opinions are like opinions, but like you have to do what's right for you. It might, doesn't have to make sense to anyone else because you know, you sense it, you feel it, you're hearing it. The Emperor at the, at the top of the deck. So you staying in control with the Ace of Swords. This is you knowing you're moving into your power position, right? And and you cannot have you King of Cups and you cannot have any distractions. You can't just be pouring out into everyone else and then not have it enough for yourself. 
It's weighted. It really is weighted, Virgo. I feel it. Making you a little tired, too. She gets some extra sleep. She gets some extra sleep, Virgo. Um, but you're, it seems like you're doing the right thing for yourself, which is what you have to do, which is what everyone has to do. You, you have to be loyal to yourself. It's of the utmost importance. So I'm going to keep pulling cards for you over on the Patreon. See what else we can pull out for you. Maybe we can see what's on the other side of this uh, power position for you, Virgo. Um, all of my information is in the description box. So the link to the Patreon for all the extended readings, all the monthly readings, the January monthlies are already up. Um, my email for personals is in there. All the decks I use, my social media, all that good stuff. Um, if I leave you here, Virgo, thank you very much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing. I love you endlessly as always. Stay prayed up, stay blessed, stay sweet, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.